Manisha, one of our doctors. Uh, would you be okay if I just examine you? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, well, thank you, Roni. Uh, would uh, I would just like to ask the examiner screening to us? Would it be okay? Sorry, which one? So I have just wiped my hands and I'm trying to just uh, just do a general observation for Roni. Uh, from what I can see, is he uh, I can't see, is there evidence of any dysmorphic features? Yeah, slight dysmorphism is there. Okay, is he using any aids? Because I can't see any hearing or vision, uh, 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 any uh, any aids yes. at all. There, there okay. is a specs, but uh, yes, there is a specs. Okay, uh, is Ronnie able to uh, walk or is he using any aids to walk? Yeah, there is, there is a stick. There is a walking stick. There's a walking stick. Okay, so uh, uh, anything else which is kept besides uh, Ronnie, like any other devices? No. The nasal cannula or anything. Okay. Nothing. So I, is it okay if I can just ask you questions to Ronnie? Yes, please. Okay, Ronnie, do you have any pain anywhere while you are walking or climbing no. up and down? No. Okay. Uh, is there any pain when you dress up or climb stairs? No. Okay, so uh, I think uh, from what I can see, Ronnie is uh, expo uh, is uh, adequately exposed. I would like to keep his modesty in place. And um, is it from what I can see, the uh, general observation on uh, Ronnie, I can see that he, uh, the uh, height and weight and the head circumference would probably be more than his uh, uh, 95th uh, centile. Is, can I just know the head circumference, the height and the weight? Okay, weight is uh, more compared to the age. And as you can see, head circumference is near about normal. Mm. And yeah, that is the thing. Okay. From I can see that generally Ronnie has height is height is less compared to the age so below. Okay. Okay. Uh, so um, I can see that general observation uh, Ronnie has got uh, upper limb. Uh, there seems to be a scar which is present on the little closer to the little finger. Probably there could have been an extra uh, digit. Uh, I can see that uh, he has got a protuberant abdomen with uh, features suggestive of gynecomastia. And uh, from his standard staging, he seems to be more in stage uh, four, in stage uh, four. And there is a kind of a windswept deformity of the lower limb, more protuberant in the uh, left limb. And there seems to be an apparent leg length discrepancy. He seems to be having pest planus with uh, an extra digit like polydactyly in the poly, in the uh, in the leg as well and flap pest uh, planus. So, if I is there any other scar anywhere else? No. No. Can I uh, ask Ronnie to walk? Is he able to walk? Until you get. He's got a painful get. Is there any particular side that he is moving to? Near near the knee. Near the knee. So if I tell Ronnie to get mm -hmm. up from us, uh, uh, so can he walk and show me uh, on his toes? Is he able to walk on his toes or his uh, heels? Is he able to do that? Yeah, he can do that. But in the left side, there is a problem in toe and heel walking okay. because if of I... this deformity. Because of the? Deformity. Because of the deformity. If I tell Ronnie to sit down and get up, is he having any difficulty? In doing that uh, just only for this deformity uh, not gauss and positive not no. because of weakness okay so uh, i would like to ideally measure the leg length uh, discrepancy is there any kind of joint swelling or tenderness uh, in the lower limb joints the knee ankle joints no tenderness no tenderness ideally i would like to just feel and move the joint and see if there is any uh, pain or uh, any swelling in any of the joints and any kind of pigmentation anywhere no uh, no from what i can see there doesn't seem to be <laughs> happening hypertrophy or uh, wasting of the muscles i would like to check for the movements of the lower limb at the hip joint is he able to do flexion extension and abduction and adduction at the hip joint. Is there any pain along for that? Which side? Uh, uh, on the right hand side. Right side, there is no pain. Okay, what and about 
side. Left side, there is hip pain. There is hip pain. Ab okay. ab abduction and adduction both are uh, you know restricted because of the deformity as well as pain. Okay. The left what, side. Okay. As uh, if I have to check the right side, knee, uh, hip, and uh, extension and flexion. Is there any pain? Right side, there is no pain. Left side, uh, there Left. is no pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the but deformity is there. Okay. What about the so? Is there any uh, effusion felt in the uh, in the in the left knee or no? No. So what about the ankle joints on the left and the right? What else you want to do? Uh, at the ankle. I wanted to just uh, check for plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, inversion, and eversion. Negative. Your time now. So today I had an opportunity to uh, uh, examine Ronnie, uh, who was brought uh, for his musculoskeletal examination. From uh, what I can see, that Ronnie's uh, uh, height uh, is apparently uh, lower for his weight, with uh, weight more than the height, and uh, he seems to be having a deformity involving the uh, left lower limb with a uh, with swift deformity, with presclenus and polydactyly with a. Uh, a uh, scar on the upper limb, probably of uh, extra digit, which could have been removed with pest planus and uh, with difficulty in gait using a uh, device and uh, spectacles. So um, my differential diagnosis, uh, probably I would have thought of uh, uh, um, so, um, it seems like either a pradogly or what are the other days apart from pradogly? It could be, I would like to rule an endocrine course for, uh, I would like to do an regular endocrine course and with the country of rickets though but uh, some syndromic association mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so uh, what are the positive feature you have got during your examination so, so he has an extra according to, according to the task mm -hmm. so he seems to be having restriction i can check the spine uh, so he uh, has uh, uh, an app, uh, he has a um, uh, evident uh, leg length discrepancy with uh, deformity involving. So the, if there is a leg length discrepancy, have you offered to measure the leg length? Yeah, yeah, I said. Okay, then how will you measure? So uh, I would uh, measure from the uh, uh, anterior superior iliac spine to the medial malleolus. Okay. That is true or apparent? Uh, that would be an apparent. That is true. True. Um, the one which we see on sleeping would be apparent. Hmm. Hmm. So what other thing? Sorry, find? which one is apparent? Apparent is from symphysis pubis to medial membrane. Okay. True, okay. True, true length. Is from anterior superior in the spine to medial malleolus. Okay, what are the other features you have got during your clinical examination in the lower limb? He's got pest planus, he's got polydactyly, mm -hmm. and the obvious deformity of the, uh, the, the knee and the hip joint. So what kind of deformity you need to describe? Otherwise, uh, they will just get the mark. Uh, you, when you have got any deformity, that is, uh, in clinical station, that is the only key. So sometimes it's not possible to complete diagnosis directly. Mm -hmm. So whenever any kind of situation arises like this, you need to describe the clinical features. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in this child, in this child, there is gross deformity in the left side. And you need to describe the deformity. So what kind of deformity is there in the knee joint? I thought it was more like a windswept deformity. Uh, which is showing adduction at the hip joint with uh, excessive adduction at the knee and uh, pest planus. Pest planus is there, but 
Uh, here is Valgas or Veras, which one? This is Valgas. Are you sure? Like the knock knee, yeah, like the knock knee, right? Knock knee is not, both the knee will be, you know, just touching each other. That is the type of uh, deformity which is called knock knee. Here, there, one leg is uh, normal, no. near yeah. normal. So this is not knock knee. There is a gap in this two uh, knee joint. Mm. Okay. And after that, uh, why there is a pain in the knee, uh, hip joint? You, during your examination, you have got some pain, no? So there, there was limitation of movement in the hip joint, the right side, uh, sorry, left side, I said. Is this like a, a, the Sufi? Yes. Oh. There is chance because any, any, any child with obesity, there is always chance to get this kind of lesion in the hip joint. <clears throat> so that's why the gate was enlarging and there was also deformity. So. Oh. These are the clinical findings you need to find out. And have you commented over the puberty? And during your examination, you picked up. Yeah, yeah I said, I said yeah, Tanner's TG4. Have you mentioned your, your BMI in the presentation? I want to just put him on a mm -hmm. age appropriate word choice, the BMI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, obesity without BMI, the inter station is incomplete. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So, this is basically the MSK. So this can come uh, as well as uh, not only MSK as well as obesity uh, like station. Okay. So obesity is one of the uh, clinical station which is sometimes can they can give. So that's why we are just practicing what this time. So I needed to mention even about the symmetry because they've shown the back. So I needed to mention even symmetry at the hip joint. Huh? Hip joint, symmetry, and your task is lower limb, you need to also uh, see the back and spine. And yes. here, here we need to be very, very specific about the task. So uh, the task was lower limb examination. You need to uh, start as in general examination, uh, that is height, weight, and excess tolerance as we need to put, I mean, the, the small prison is there or not. And after that, as you can see, there is gross obesity. So uh, the task is lower limb. You can start directly with it. Otherwise, there will be shorter your time. Okay. So mm -hmm. you can start with the gate first. After that, if possible, gauss sign. Because this is unlikely there will be some approximate map. But if this is hyper, uh, sorry, hypothyroid, then replaces sometimes will be, uh, yeah, uh, very, very unlikely. But you can check. Always check the gauss sign. That is not a problem. But if there's... A, Huh? Could be more like not steroids, sorry. Cushing's ka complication, na? whatever reason that this thing is there. No, no, no. This is Barbet Biddle. So, this is? Barbet, Barbet Biddle. This is Barbet okay, or Barbet Biddle. Okay. Okay. So, there are only few cases of obesity with syndrome of child. So, have you, have you, uh, during your, you know, just rapo, you need to talk to the child because Barbet Biddle downs and there are few cases, uh, there will be some. Uh, I mean, low IQ. Okay, mm -hmm. so you, you, your uh, repo was uh, not uh, totally complete because you need to access the higher function as well during the repo. So mm -hmm. these, are, these are the feature, and after that, the discussion may go if there is time because clinical session there is very minimum time. They can ask just few questions. Okay, so this is the, according to you, this is Barber Bill. What are the DDs? You can evolve that this, the, uh, this may be <coughs> some pseudo hyper. Uh, hi, sorry, hypoparathyroidism maybe. And after that, uh, hypothyroid is the cause of obesity with uh, uh, some bone deformity, with sometimes and because of obesity. Okay. Hypo, hypothyroid, barbed brittle, and, and, Predar Willi as well. Predar Willi. So these are the periodically there will be hypotonia. So all these all these are DDs, and after that they will ask, okay. So if this is uh, uh, like uh, obesity with this deformity, we can say the obesity is short short stature. Short stature as well. Yes. So uh, BM after mention so BMI is must. Okay, if there is obesity, any station, any station with obesity, you must mention the BMI. And after that they will say, okay. What are the investigation we want to do? So well, this is routine investigation. So first of all, the child is not so much of distress or sick. So we can uh, we can say daily because time is. So first thing we, we need to uh, just say in one center I, I need to. Uh, Doctor
I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, can you just list all the findings in this case for once? All the findings. One clinical yeah, all, finding. Yeah. What's the finding? What is it in the uh, hand actually? Okay, if there was a scar, basically in hand you can get some extra digit, and that uh, that sometimes may present, and there's some sometimes they can remove. Okay, so so sometimes you can get some uh, just a scar, nothing else. Okay. Okay. Just and the X-rays. Okay, X-ray. There is some extra digit and some deformities. There are some deformities. Uh, look here. Okay. So with the with patient, with patient, you can uh, you can see the advantages. We can see and uh, we can describe the deformity. That is the advantage with patient. So uh, these are the deformity, and after that, uh, uh, with this deformity, we can we can say this is uh, barbell bridal syndrome with this kind of deformity. Lower limb task was lower limb MS, right? mm. So in this way, so uh, okay. What are the investigation you want to do? First of all, first of all, I need to do because the child is not so much of sick. Yeah. Can we uh, explain that uh, knee deformity? Yes, definitely. Knee, ankle, and hip. Because I, 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 I just added one of the feature here that is the left sided there is feature of painful joint movement so this is case of obesity there is also chance of slip uh, femoral epiphysis okay so okay. that's why this okay. uh, this which i have added but uh, sometimes they can uh, present uh, sometimes they, this feature may not be but we should not forget sometimes we need to offer i um, mean uh, if there is no time sometimes we can of I want to check the gait as well, okay? Because they may be entirely because of Sufi. So these are the important area. And uh, mostly, so this is uh, very unlikely that we'll get this kind of cases, but we need to be ready for every type of cases. So this is, I have taken from just uh, the recall only. So that is why they are, if we are unfortunate enough, then we can get, okay? So that's why this is important. So about this deformity of the knee, sorry, it's not valgus, it's varus. But then how, uh, so I don't need to use that terminology, no? Which one? The, like you asked me, what is the name of this kind of deformity? So I shouldn't say like a varus or anything, I can just say. No, you need to mention, definitely. Okay, I need to mention, okay. So uh, this deformity along with, along with, uh, because the deformity is here in the knee joint, so you need to mention there is uh, this deformity along with some restriction of movement maybe there because the task is MSK. I don't know basically there is uh, any restriction of movement is in the knee, knee joint is there or not, but during our examination definitely we can find out, okay. If there is a flexion, a flexion, a flexion uh, like restriction, flexion, I mean, you know, restriction of movement during the flexion, then we, we should mention in our finding there, yes, there is knee deformity and some restriction of uh, I mean, movement during flexion is there. And mm -hmm. after approximate measurement, we can, we can say even that much of degree. Okay. And as you can see, there is some degree of hyperextension, right? So this we should also uh, we can mention. So these these are the clinical findings. Basically, the, Pranobda, sorry uh, to interrupt. Pranobda, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Uh, but I think actually the child basically is trying to accommodate because of Sufi. I think he uh, the the child is having an internal I mean uh, adduction of the hip joint, left hip joint, and definitely the child must be in pain because in Sufi. Uh, pain, uh, as you mentioned, that antalgic gait, the child is having antalgic gait. So I think he's trying to, um, I mean, accommodate. That's why the, I mean, the lower part of the leg is a bit, uh, what could it be? I mean, hyperextended. But usually in Sufi, no, 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 it is no, no, external extension, right? And this hyperextension is not normal, basically. There no, is definitely, this, Correct. there is definitely some, Pathology is there because of weight or maybe uh, some bony deformity. Exactly. Now, exactly. now I have added the finding over the hip joint so that we we, we never forget during our examination. There may not be so, you know, features of Sufi. Okay. Exactly. Because so, they will ask MSK of the lower limb. Hmm. That is your 
tough isn't that that is your task uh-huh. and so your task the child uh, you 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 will ask for uh, you will ask for gate i mean you will ask for stand with support or without so these are all those things but after that when uh, you are examining proper the child in uh, you know supine position then we must comment about the position of the hip position of the knee and position of the ankle these three things are important yes like that. yes so what about what about i mean internal rotation and adduction of the hip it is obvious it is seen and what mm. about the knee and rest of the part what what could we comment that uh, there is hyper extension uh, yes there, some... there is there is hyper extension and there is possibility that some degree of restriction of movement may be there in the knee joint so that is the clinical okay. finding i am not going into the detail because exactly. so many finding will not be there. so some if this if there is hip involvement definitely that finding will be there and mm-hmm. sometimes this if there is restriction of movement that finding we need to uh, find it out okay and after that we'll just mention mm-hmm. not presentation another thing this is your this is your msk station not your uh, neurology station this is important thing so yeah. look feel and uh, what look feel and move these three uh, things should be i mean we should give stress over these three things because in neurology yeah. station rather you you should go for uh, tone power blah blah thing that is not needed in your msk station exactly mm-hmm. in your in msk station i think she, your uh, she, yeah she never went these are important mm-hmm. yes yeah. anyway very good case i said, I said look feel uh, and move but unless uh, there was pain i said that mm-hmm. so uh, yes so if there is any gross swelling or uh, gross uh, abnormality in the lower limb when the task is lower limb then we definitely go for look feel move or even during the checking of movement i mean uh, the knee joint movement uh, we need to keep the hand over the knee joint so at that time we can we can also assess na huh? so that could complete in two different way okay correct correct okay so okay. what are the investigation you want to do so the next question so <clears throat> i would like to take a detailed uh, history plot his centiles on an uh, appropriate growth chart and um, i would monitor his i want to take a, a bmi and uh, also uh, check his vitals of uh, pulse blood pressure and the respiratory rate uh tanner staging i have already done i would like to go through his previous papers or uh, you know uh, reports dr manisha let me tell you you will never get so much of time so, so i would like so you need to cut down your sentences uh, like just in short because in clinical station there will be very very minimum time to present your case as well as answer the questions that you can because everybody is saying there is you know the problem is yes okay time management so i would like to proceed with uh, uh, with the imaging involving x ray of the hip joint and the knee joint and uh, look for any uh, if there is any slipped upper uh, femoral uh, disc and uh, uh, i think i've already said about uh, the previous history and monitoring styles and uh, bmi uh, if i'm suspecting any endocrine cause then i would like to uh, take an endocrine opinion for the same and um, yeah so this uh, this case actually obesity obesity may come in uh, history session also okay so if this is history session definitely uh, so that's why i'm just going into the little more detail of question answer session so in the history what are the important history you want to know this is this is sometimes you know if the case is given in history station okay obesity then what are the history you want to know so uh, birth history birth history is also important birth history any family history any uh, consanguinity then uh, any hormonal imbalance the developmental history uh, uh, developmental history any investigations any treatment history Uh, any hormonal if the child is on any hormone supplements or uh, taking steroids for any condition i would uh, check for any um, uh, sleep apnea the 
uh, basic developmental assessment and um, so okay i'm in going one by one so in, not in that way basically we are going a little haphazard so onset duration and progression so the birth is to where the child is you know just uh, always from the very beginning of life or maybe suddenly uh, gradually uh, the child is developing this obesity that is basically important okay so after that after that as you mentioned the rest of the part you can mention gradually i mean one by one okay and few extra history because uh, this child is uh, basically having obesity so sometimes there may be uh, some chances of developing so these are the history related to the complications okay so uh, already we have seen the bony bony problem is there so uh, if there is pain definitely all this uh, detail history we, we can take and after that related to the obesity that is osmotic Teachers, some uh, sometimes they can have the chances to develop diabetes, so polyuria, thirst, uh, and even dietary history, and any any uh, school bullying is there or not, or any um, like uh, depressed mood is there or not. Pubertal history, as you, as you just mentioned in the clinical station, and uh, this this and any any sleep problem is there because sometimes obesity. Obviously, uh, uh, sorry, obstetrics may be there. So, in the drug history, we can ask for any uh, treatment, well, any kind of uh, you know, just uh, medicine, maybe hypothyroid, so any kind of medicine is taking on. Or this is secondary to steroid intake. If we could take the detailed history of medication, okay? And, and any problem in the vision or hearing is there because. Uh, Again, maybe there is chance that obesity with uh, some, uh, I mean, hearing, uh, sorry, uh, recurrent ear infection may be there. And uh, definitely, if this is a synomic child uh, with verbal builder and learning difficulty. So, schooling as well as uh, school performance, both are important. Okay. okay. So, these are the important history they can, uh, we can ask in the uh, history session if this is concerned. So now uh, uh, related to the complications uh, question. If you have to summarize, like how would you summarize this case? So first of all, we need to focus on the clinical findings. If this is a clinical station, mm -hmm. so our task is lower limb examination. So I have examined a 14 year old boy, Ronnie, who is uh, well grown, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, who is uh, having overweight at, at per age and and uh, maybe sh short height in this year the growth I mean height is less according to the age and I can see some uh, dysmorphic feature along with so I will put uh, this child in a age appropriate growth chart so growth chart is must in every clinical station without growth chart the station is incomplete. So I put the child in a age appropriate growth chart and and especially BMI chart, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, I can see some dysmorphic feature along with these features of obesity. And uh, there is, during my clinical examination, I have noted there is gross deformity in the lower limb in form of bulgum or vera. I am also confused now. It's a vul vulgus or verus deformity, isn't it? Yeah, virus, virus. So virus deformity in the right, right left side along with uh, there may be some shortening of left-sided leg. I, I would also like to take the limb length to confirm the discrepancy. This is valgus, I think. Valgus. Oh. No? I am also yeah, yeah, this is country. valgus. This is valgus. In in inward, it is. Uh, if bowing is outside, then it is valgus. Okay. Okay. Well, gum. Well, gum. You remember gum? Gum is something which attaches in together. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Fine. So, yeah. Knock knee is valgus. Yeah, I'd say valgus only initially, but I think. Okay, okay. Then I, 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 I confused you know? <laughs> Anyway, so we'll just present like this, and after that, the movement restriction. We need to must mention so there is no gross atrophy or hyper uh, atrophy or any uh, like. Any uh, other structural finding, but there is restriction, movement of restriction at the level of knee joint near about uh, that degree, which will be there. 
and there is space space planners and the hip joint during my examination i have got some precession of movement that may be due to two feet okay. as the chain is over that that's all but in short because the examiner will be there uh, waiting there and they will be just asking few questions okay so we need to give this time in that way and uh, my most uh, differential diagnosis i just mentioned okay and after that what are the investigation you want to do what are the investigation you want to do number one okay x-ray definitely as you can see there's x-ray and routine blood test to see any like um, uh, hemoglobin level with this anemia or not and to as there is pain, so I, I also would like to rule out the evidence of any infection is there or not. I would also like to test the blood pressure because the child is obese, huh? and I will also do, uh, put, I will do the pivotal staging and I, I do the blood sugar random and glycosylated hemoglobin sometimes if there is any urinary symptom, lipid profile, and liver function test. So these are the blood tests. Okay, now the comp these are the these are mostly related to the complications. So I will just come to the diagnostic part. So if the uh, child is syndromic, definitely I will do some genetic test to uh, to confirm my diagnosis of this uh, barbell disease. Okay, mm. in that okay. way. Okay, thank you. Did we mention about the limb length discrepancy in this child? She mentioned, I think, uh, mentioned, but in the presentation, basically, we need to mention if there is any delay in this case, definitely, we need to mention. otherwise, uh, that will be difficult. Okay, in that way. Now, treatment how will you manage this child? Um, yeah, I would like to take uh, once I have uh, examined uh, the child in detail and taken. A detailed uh, history. I would uh, uh, approach a multidisciplinary team approach to manage this uh, child. So I would like to involve my consultant and uh, brief about the examination and uh, uh, involve the orthopedic surgeon if there is uh, any leg, because there is an obvious uh, leg limb discrepancy, if the child would require uh, a hip uh, fixation or an osteotomy. I would like to involve the endocrinologist, uh, especially if I'm thinking of a syndromic a syndrome like a, a barded beryl syndrome. If there is any um, assessment required, I would like to have a, a, a dietitian, especially because the child seems to have a high BMI. I would also involve a geneticist uh, to, um, to, to confirm uh, my diagnosis. I would uh, involve the... Um, psychological uh, counselor uh, and uh, a developmental pediatrician to have a develop and assess his development station. Uh, de yes. So uh, most of the thing you mentioned, but uh, sleep apnea, ENT. Uh, sleep, yeah, respiratory. <laughs> yeah. So be, uh, when, when obesity comes into the picture, you need to divide into different ways. Cardiologist you mentioned? No. Uh, yeah. Okay, so whenever any child in our exam, whenever there is obesity, we, we, we can divide the case in two different ways. That is primary, which is uh, maybe bony, bony uh, I mean the orthopedic case, MSK, or maybe some other, other related, uh, like if this is neuro, sometimes SMA, those patients sometimes getting overweight. Okay, at the same time, we need to think in two different ways, primary disease and related to the obesity and complications. So if we know the management on the uh, total uh, thing in uh, obesity, definitely we, we can answer every question. Okay, the two, two different uh, components will be there, obesity as well as the primary thing. Uh, doctor, uh, what of the, uh, I want to introduce for the one time, sure. sorry. Uh, as you said, the measurement for LID, you said from the symphysis pubis, but it is from the anterosuperior iliac spine to the medial malleola. That is the direct measurement or true measurement. And for the apparent measurement? Uh, uh, 
for the apparent measurement this from the umbilicus to the medial malleolus umbilicus wait no yes. Yes, that, is, uh, that is written in the uh, winter pediatric orthopedic book and that is um, uh, published in a journal called pubmed journal okay okay i can uh, get another screenshot but what uh, I, i don't know, know uh, exactly what uh, but that is written there actually okay we will see that so definitely we need to know the uh, correct answer so because sometimes in the exam they can ask okay so who and uh, apparent okay so we will just confirm maybe tomorrow what i know that is from the symphysis view that is uh, the apparent one but we use is from the symphysis view this but the orthopedicians they measure it from the cephis sternum downward sometimes uh, i don't know maybe it's a different way of doing that from the cephis sternum to the medial malleolus they measure okay 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 i think for our purpose this anterior superiorly expand to medial malleolus and symphysis pubis to medial malleolus is enough in our books it's mentioned like that. Mm -hmm. i don't know true, where i true i think uh, from symphysis pubis because uh, if you have uh, some hip problem na uh, your uh, level of anterior superior iliac spine differ actually either it will be in higher position or lower lower position so in that aspect that is your apparent level so true mm -hmm. is from your uh, No 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 no, 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 no,
So I approach you to the same. Whenever you are ready, let me know. Okay. One minute, okay? So shall I start? Um, can I start, Prana? Obviously, guys, uh, you can you can read it from the guideline also. Okay, so this is very important, and they can uh, it can come as a history also. Guideline here, but not nicely given. One of the Dr. Maya is ready, I think. Okay, okay. Just okay. Wanting your permission. I am keeping time, okay? Okay. It was not there at the time, maybe. Okay. Dr. Maya? Yes. So if you are ready, you can start. Okay. So I'll, I'll uh, wash my hands and then I'll wash my hands and reduce my Hi, I am Dr. Maya. Today, I'm going to examine you, Rocky. Is it okay for you? Yes, yes, doctor. Okay, so I can I can see is, um, uh, Rocky is having, uh, it's, um, uh, it's slightly overweight and for his age, and then he's having a moon-shaped face. And is he in distress? No. Okay, uh, then, um, so he, he's, uh, he's well-looking. And uh, what about his uh, dimensions? Uh, she's uh, he's short, overweight, and uh, what else? Okay. Uh, then um, uh, so I, I, the, I don't uh, I can't see any. Is there any devices? Any other? I don't see any devices no, or no. not. Uh, so what about his? Uh, his uh, is he able to? What about his vision? Vision is as of now normal. Uh, I can't see any hearing aids. Is this hearing? Is this uh, hearing normal? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is he able to communicate with me? I want to check his uh, mentality. Yes, uh, mentality wise, he is having some low IQ in the school. Uh, last which class you are, it is just uh, two or three plus. Okay, and then um, uh, and then I'll I'll look for his um, general examination. I I'll uh, look for on his hand. I can see that. Uh, the finger, his his fingers appears short, mm -hmm. and uh, there is some uh, swelling over the uh, over the over the palm, and uh, there is no uh, over the skin, and there is no obvious uh, uh, any no scars are visible. Any scars on the back? No. Um, okay, no scars, and there is uh, no redness, swelling, or muscle wasting. And I would like to see his um, eyes. Is there any? Any cataract or any obvious uh, any deformity no, in the eye? No, no, no. Okay. And what about his um, um, uh, his mouth? Any uh, any 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 obvious deformities? No. Or cavity? Okay. And then um, uh, mouth and this. And then in the, the okay. And then I can see there is um, some gynecomastia is there. He's he has got a protuberant abdomen and. Um, and with uh, features of, uh, at, um, because because he's he's twelve year of age, and then he's 
still has not uh, no pubertal changes are seen. So there may be uh, features of uh, hypogonadism I could see. And um, and then then let me mention. Um, and uh, the lower limb, uh, I, I, I want to check his um, uh, gait. Uh, what about his gait? Is he able? Gait is normal. Gait is normal. Okay. And um, uh, lower limb, I, I, I can see there is a wasting of uh, uh, calf muscles. Okay. So there is no wasting basically. And there... Okay. Okay. Continue. Okay, and the um, uh, there is uh, there is also sh um, shortening of the upper limb. I am not sure. And then um, general examination. So I have to just do the general examination. General examination you have done. Anything else you want to see? <laughs> Before four minutes, you <laughs> completed. Oh. <laughs> any any relevant uh, systemic examination you want to do for this chair? Uh, you have two more minutes to complete your two, six minutes. Okay. Uh, then, um, uh, so systemic examination, I want to exam his, uh, I mean, heart, and I want to auscultate and look for this, um, um, I, mean, I mean, I want to look for this auscultate heart sounds to hear whether there is any allowed S2 present because I want to rule out um, right ventricular hypertrophy. I mean, hypertrophy of the ventricles. And then abdomen also, I want to examine whether there is any, uh, I mean, I have uh, liver, liver, palpable liver. And, okay. and then, uh, uh, then back, I want to examine and whether there is any uh, kyphosis or scoliosis present. Yes, right. Uh, then, uh, 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 then I want to check his uh, gait is normal. Then, uh, uh, he's okay, and then I uh, question yeah, only this much I could say because skin uh, back also I want to look for whether there is any mean neck. I it's not seen whether I want to see whether there is any acanthosis, migrants, or any other striae present. Okay, so there's no striae. Six minutes. Okay. Yeah. So you can present your this. So I have done um, uh, examined uh, Rocky, a 12-year-old child, and who looks um, uh, overweight and for his age with uh, with uh, a chubby with a chubby face, and um, he has got uh, he has um, he 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 appears in short and over short for his age, and he has got uh, uh, obvious features like uh, gynecomastia and short um, short fingers and with protuberant abdomen and the features of um, hypo, I mean, hypogonadism and um, hypogonadism. So this much positive I could see. Okay, so uh, in uh, putting all this finding together, what is your most likely diagnosis and the differentials? Uh, my most likely diagnosis uh, it's, is a case of Pradavilli syndrome, I'm not sure. Okay, fine. So, uh, uh, during your presentation, uh, huh? how will they present your case? Uh, so, uh, sorry, I didn't get you, Prana. How, how, how you will present your case? Okay. Uh, so, uh, my my most, uh, may I will uh, present as um, the Rocky to Leroy with all these features. And um, the, my, my, uh, most probable diagnosis is uh, um, it's a case of Prada Willi syndrome. <laughs> no, no. Huh? So, so there was a question in our school. Uh, the <laughs> so there was a uh, Rocky, and he, he he appears short, overweight for his age, and uh, he has got um, a chubby face and um, chubby face with. Uh, um, uh, uh, because Prada Willi, I'm thinking, so maybe um, uh, he has got he has got a depressed uh, nasal bridge um, with uh, with a small mouth, and his hands are uh, short hands, and with high, with features of um, uh, hypo means hypogonadism. Uh, and but I like to complete my examination by plotting his height and weight and doing his um, developmental assessment. So my nine minutes over. 
Yes. Uh, yeah. My okay. my my first diagnosis is um, the K Prado Willis syndrome. Okay, fine. So that is the thing I wanted to uh, be aggressive. Any station, you, okay. if you do not mention this growth chart thing, and that okay. will be incomplete. Okay. Okay. Yeah. As, uh, RCPCH examination, yes. uh, clinical station, in every yes. station, uh, I think this is must uh, the okay. growth chart. Yes. So, and uh, you you need to mention especially uh, as I said just in pre previous uh, discussion that uh, BMI is mandatory. Okay. Ah. So growth chart as well as in its obesity, they definitely mm -hmm. the BMI. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what are the cardiac complications this child may have? Um. You usually they might have. Uh... Um, evidence of um, right ventricle hy pulmonary hypertension can occur, so there may why, be why why pulmonary hypertension? Because um, uh, they, this uh, they they are they are more prone for um, this uh, respiratory respiratory failure. Ah uh, yes, because of cardiac overload, uh, because of obesity, the cardiac overload. So there may be. Features of pulmonary hypertension that can lead to um, loud P2 and can produce right ventricular hypertrophy. Yes, I agree with you, but there must be some reason that is called OSI uh, sleep apnea. OSI, OSI. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. This huh. hey, Obstructive sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea. So, uh, during your general examination, have you checked the neck? Because some of the children in obesity, there may be some neck uh, swelling. Try your acanthosis migrant. Acanthosis migrant, it may be based on so all this. Way. In these children, there was no such thing. But okay. in cardiac complication, if you think that okay. is obstructive sleep apnea producing. Uh, PLO, yes, yeah, pulmonary yeah, complication. Yes. Pulmonary complication that leads to. Cardiac complaint, right? Okay, okay. In, in the form of loud P2, right? Yes, yes. And what are the uh, like uh, other complications you know, related to liver? As you said, you want, wanted to examine the liver. So what kind of changes may happen in the liver? Uh, um, if 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 they are going for failure, sometimes they can produce. Uh, uh, um, uh, there may be hypertomegaly may be present. For which reason? Uh, this uh, obstructive sleep apnea leading on pulmonary hypertension leading on to failure. Yeah, definitely that is also possible. But before that, you need to mention the uh, most common cause that is uh, fatty liver changes. Fatty liver changes. Okay. okay. After that, definitely that is another cause. But before yes, that, you need to mention this one. These are the thing that you checked and complications will be discussed. And uh, okay, uh, so one of the can I say something? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Actually, yes. Uh, what I think you hmm. presented well, Dr. Maya, but what I think you yes. you somehow fixed your diagnosis, uh, I mean, provisional Very diagnosis unique. somehow fixed in, in, in your mind. That's what you <laughs> you you before six minutes you have completed because in particular yes. this case I think you have many things to rule out okay. because if you if you consider this is a case of obesity then yes. you may get many I mean your ways are pretty open like in obesity you just you just put it as GD like obesity like is it a steroid dependent obesity. Is it a okay. you know uh, 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 some some your syndromic yeah. obesity yes. Uh, yes. or something like this uh, or or yes. nutritional Symbol obesity? Symbol obesity, so, yes, yes, exactly. So uh -huh. if you think that okay, it's a steroid induced. Suppose it's a steroid induced obesity, then you may you may I mean if if you uh, did not prefix in your mind that it's a Bader Willi syndrome, then yes. you will definitely check for you know some. Some uh, your acanthosis nigrans, your you yes. know this trial mark. Okay, yes. even you can yes. check for the liver for uh, fatty. I mean any hepatomegaly. You may yes. change for uh, you want to check for your eyes because sometimes obesity lead to papilledemia. I mean yes. papilledemia okay. is okay. So ah, you may yes, check yes. for skin. That is skin will okay. be very okay. thin in steroid uh, 
you know dependent cases like yes. your uh, uh, like at the same time uh, you can tell uh, there are many thing i mean uh, uh, yes your uh, proximal myopathy you may okay. at least ask that whether can you walk a few steps for me you can check for the proximal myopathy yes. so okay. i think uh, it's better not to fix anything in your mind better go okay. with dd then i think your uh, you know options will be pretty yes. much and you can okay. discuss the case with the examiner for a long time okay. that's my from yes. my point of view yes. okay yes. okay thank you thank you so what are the investigation you want to do quickly uh, uh i uh, i would like to do uh, uh, this uh, the, um, um, investigation i would like to do a thyroid function test uh then to look for any features of hypothyroidism and they, they are also um uh, and look for a fasting blood glucose level and mm -hmm. uh, they and also the lipid profile are expected rise in serum cholesterol all these things and and uh, i will also like to do a uh, because uh, if if the diagnosis is uh, prader willi syndrome so i mean to confirm the diagnosis i would like to do a um, uh, genetic testing okay. so how you will manage this uh, um management is um, uh, it's actually a multidisciplinary approach um so and um, sorry multidisciplinary approach and i would like to uh, involve the uh, pediatrician and we so i will I, I like to suggest uh, the weight reduction program and then uh, have that um, uh, uh, i mean uh, no dietitian to arrange to give to arrange to provide a, a healthy diet for the child and exercise then uh, the, uh, then other other problems to come to manage other problems like orthopedic problems and managing um, um, the sleep apnea and then uh, the other other psychological impact on the child according to the complication we can remember right yes okay thank you so we are not going into the detail of uh, obesity but Uh, okay. this is important for uh, to history as well as our clinical sometimes they can be clinical as well okay. so any suggestion guys what may be the case lily who is 11 years of age kind of examine her generally Lawrence Moon. Lawrence Moon, biological. So we have just discussed in MS case. So I am not going to build any more. So here is another case that is easy, but in uh, last time in the uh, Dr. Raju got this case, I think. Something like that, but. the general examination of sophia that's easy looks like on a that's easy but without practice sometimes it can be difficult that's why this is general examination so my try Yes, sure. Okay. What I'm happened to your it. voice? Oh, nothing. I I was unable to identify your voice initially. Anyway. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Okay. So. Okay. Do you need time? No. No, it's okay. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Start then. Okay. Uh, after entering in the room, I'm washing my hand. I just. Uh, great uh, teacher uh, and uh, and sophia as well hello sophia uh, is it okay if i examine you yeah doctor sure okay and uh, i also greet sophia's mother or attendant as well so mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. first of all i just uh, want to know uh, uh, what is sophia doing right now uh, sophia is drawing Okay. Uh, is there is there any support for her uh, in the room? Any yeah, braces? There, or... there is. Yeah, there is walking aid. Uh, okay. Just like uh, uh, stick, 
stick is there. Okay. Okay. So, um, is there any uh, uh, pulse oximeter or you know oxygen tube uh, no, within no. the room? Which so no. Necessary. Okay. Uh, is Sophia uh, wearing some uh, spectacles? Uh, she removing or uh, like that? Any ear, ear aid? Yeah, there, 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 there is there is a glass glass as there, and there is uh, you know, that is called ear and okay. hearing aid is also there. Okay, so what about Sophia's uh, height, weight, and BMI? Yes, height, weight, BMI. Uh, height is less according to the age, short height, and BMI okay. is increased. I'm not uh, giving a specific number. Okay. Okay. And but it's and raised is, and raised. Weight? I mean, the obesity is there, and weight is overweight, as you can see. Okay. So Sophia is short, short height. Uh, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So any upper segment, lower segment ratio? Is there any uh, uh, problem in upper segment, lower segment ratio, or it's okay? Do you expect any uh, abnormality in the upper segment? No, I am not expecting. Not I am not expecting. Uh, then, then general examination no need to go okay. uh, in detail. Okay. You are wasting okay. your time. Then. So what I am so what I am seeing, uh, Sophia uh, is having a bit of slanting of eye, uh, and as well as uh, she appeared. Uh, a chubby face. Uh, she is having chubby face, and uh, and uh, what about her ear position? Is it uh, uh, you know uh, low placed or it's uh, normal? Low set ears, yes. Okay, low set ears, and flat, uh, flat occiput. Flat occiput. Okay, flat occiput. And what about her tongue? Is it a large tongue? Yes, large tongue, sir. Large tongue. And what about her hairline? It's the low, low hairline or yeah, hairline? Yeah. Low state hairline. Okay. And I can see um, right hand. Uh, is there any chenodactyly present? Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay. Is there any? Is there any stria mark present? Stria is not there. Single permark is present. Single permark is present. Okay. And uh, what about? Uh, is there any sandal gap present? Yes, present. Okay. What about his skin thickness? Is it uh, thin, thin skin or skin is normal? Oh, normally. It's normal. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what about her back? Any scoliosis, uh, kyphosis? Mm, yes, there is some degree of scoliosis is there. Okay. So scoliosis is there. And what about uh, if I ask Sophia to walk a few steps? Uh, is she using sticks? And what about her gait? Without uh, this walking aid, she can walk. And there is a bit antalgic gait in the left side again. Left sided antalgic gait. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about her hip position? Is it, uh, I mean, uh, is both uh, anterior superior iliac spine? In, uh, in in standing position at same plane or it's uh, uh, displaced? Slightly displaced, but okay. Uh, left side. Yeah. It's on the left side. Yes. Okay. So um, okay. Uh, so what is there any um, hepatomegaly present? Okay. So hepatomegaly is there. Bit hepatomegaly is there. Okay. What about is her intellectuality? Okay, so intellectually IQ is low. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, and uh, how will I assess the uh, how will I assess the intellectuality? I can in the I can talk to her. I can talk to Sophia because in, I can in form of which sentences? Uh, well, uh, Sophia, what class are you reading right now? Okay, she is saying she is three, class three. In class three. Okay, and uh, okay, and uh, what about her heart sound? Is it okay or any added sound present apart from S1, S2? Yeah, there's ejection uh, systolic murmur in the second space with uh, fixed second sound source splitting. Ejection systolic murmur? Okay. So it's six minutes over or it's. No, no, I don't. 30 seconds, 20 seconds late. Okay, and uh, 
Okay, I can present it. Okay, fine. So you can present. Yes. So thank you for giving me opportunity to examine Sophia. Sophia is thirteen years old. I think it's girl. It's girl, mm -hmm. I think. Yes. And last one, one more last thing. Sorry, I I mm -hmm. asked her. Uh, what about her puberty status? You have no question. <laughs> okay, so puberty is delayed. No, no signs of puberty. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, now, now I am present. Okay, okay thank okay, you fine. for giving me opportunity to examine Sophia. Sophia is thirteen years old girl. Um, uh, she is having a slanting of eyes with large tongue, clenodactyly, single palmar crease. So she is morphologically down. Uh, so she is uh, morphologically morphologically uh, uh, down uh, child, mm -hmm. and her intellectuality, uh, her intellectuality, uh, she is having a low IQ, and uh, she is having scoliosis. Uh, apart from this, she is having antalgic gait uh, and using a stick to walk. Uh, maybe due to her overweight, overweight, she is uh, having some uh, sleep apathy, more lipidosis. And uh, at, at at the same time, she is having a big ejection systolic uh, murmur. Uh, maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a uh, ASD murmur. And mm -hmm. uh, okay, that is that's that's why uh, that's about Sophia. Okay. So uh, what are, uh, okay? What is your most likely diagnosis here? Putting on uh, well, uh, Sophia is morphologically down. Uh, and at the same time, she is having uh, scoliosis and uh, uh, and having uh, sleep upper femoral epiphysis. So everybody, uh, everybody having... making the same kind of mistake. Why you have not chosen the growth chart and BEM, BMS? Oh, sorry, sorry. Though uh, I, I mean, this is and... <laughs> I have selected three three cases today. Sorry, sorry. Obesity. Every time, three different time, everyone missed. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So, uh, um, well, Sophia is a obese girl, though I would like to plot her in appropriate uh, Down syndrome chart. And uh, um, at the same time, uh, uh, she is morphologically down and having, uh, probably having uh, sleep upper femoral epiphysis and uh, uh, ASD and ASD and scoliosis. Okay, so uh, have you checked the neck? Palpated the neck? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have checked her uh, neck, uh, his low hairline. Mm. And in front of neck, is there any mass? Have you checked for that? Is it mark or double chin? No, it is a double chin, but have you palpated over there? No, I didn't. Sometimes, sometimes it's needed. Sometimes it's needed. No, yeah, don't, it's don't be sorry. Fibroma is pretty common. Yeah. All we are learning, so don't be sorry. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, the thing is, sometimes we need to just have a just a palpation. It will take hardly one yeah. or two, uh, maximum three seconds, just to just patch. Yeah, correct. Them. Otherwise, okay, fine. So next, uh, what are the complications uh, with obesity related to obesity with Down syndrome? You are expecting in this child Down syndrome complications with obesity. Yes, uh, uh, obesity, their uh, obstetric sleep apnea may be there. That would cause, uh, that may ultimately lead to pulmonary hypertension. Yeah. Apart from this uh, uh, deranged lipid profile, deranged lipid profile, uh, uh, you know, LFP may be deranged due to this obesity. And uh, yes, uh, 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 occipital Atlantic dislocation that exactly. may be a complication of Down syndrome. And, and recurrent, uh, recurrent ear infection that is very yes, common. Recurrent no? sinusitis, uh, yes, very common. Okay, so uh, these are the complications. Um, the same type of complication, I'm not going to detail. You can read from the guideline that is nicely okay. given. And in this child, how will you manage? Management of Down syndrome is, is like development of station. Okay, so uh, the same can... as multidisciplinary team, uh, you know, uh, and uh, where uh, there will be pediatrician, uh, community pediatrician, developmental pediatrician, physiotherapist, dietitian, mm. occupational therapist. 
uh, uh, orthopedician mm -hmm. all will be involved me ent surgeon or ent respiratory cardiologist cardiologist so every specialty so this said this and even endocrinologist some, yes some chances of developing diabetes as well diabetes okay. hypothyroidism is a very common okay so this child is already diagnosed child of down syndrome so how will you investigate this child or manage this child first of all a basic blood investigation cbc uh, i will do one cbc where it's important to look for the uh, immature blood cell because uh, uh, you know uh, all is very common in uh, mm. all is common in uh, down syndrome mm. and uh, peripheral blood smear Mm. Uh, apart from this, uh, apart from this uh, neck X-ray, uh, mm. uh, neck X-ray, uh, thyroid scan, your uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I am just, I am just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just throwing the question in different ways so that the sequence will be easier to remember. So, what mm. may be the complication, autoimmune complication related to the Down syndrome? down syndrome celiac, celiac disease and uh, your diabetes and your uh, you know hypothyroidism yes and chances of leukemia there is no autism but there, mm -hmm. according to that right. if you remember in that way we'll just investigate even even yeah, yearly correct, investigation correct. okay correct. yearly follow up they are doing and uh, there, there is a protocol. I mean, guideline. According to the guideline, we need to say what are the instructions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Management discussed. Okay, sorry. Then thank you. Any other feedback which I missed, maybe? So, Doctor Pranab, uh, like uh, oh. as a Examiner, what was your uh, idea about this case? Actually, what did you want the candidate to identify? I am not <laughs> examiner oh. right now. Well, first of all, uh, don't uh, think like that. So we are all learning. What uh, you know from the feedback? Hmm. From no, Doctor Pranab, I just wanted to know, like, yeah, yeah. what so that person that, uh, yeah. wanted to know. Yeah, last yeah, time, uh, last time in our exam, Doctor Raju got the case, and the task was. Do the general examination too. We need to pick up, uh, pick up the clinical signs, clinical signs of Down syndrome child. So uh, the approach is same. So first of all, 4D MS. So 4D MS we covered in inspection. Okay, as you can see, there is obesity as well as dysmorphic feature, height, weight, just a clinical uh, screening. So that is the first look. Okay, after that we will start with the hand, hand feature. Any pallor is there or not? Any single palmar case, clinically, these are the clinical features, okay? And after that, we'll move. Sometimes we can oh. feel the pulse in every station. Sometimes, if you if you want, definitely you can feel because it is some calculation as which is with some clinical finding that can be picked up. And after that, we'll move uh, just upward in gen general approach, okay? And then here, and then uh, we'll check the signs of puberty. And We'll just see the facial, facial, so all the features related to the Down syndrome in front, from the front, then we'll check from the back. So in, in back, mm -hmm. there'll be flat occiput, low, low set hairline, okay? Sometimes this, uh, you know, what is that called? Uh, waving of nape sometimes there, okay? And there, there is in, in front, we need to ask the child, can you open your mouth? So there may be some dental uh, malocclusion, large tongue and all these features and including the ear because regarding the ear infection is there, sometimes there may be some secretions. Okay. And after that, we'll just move uh, just in front. Again, checking the back because of some scoliosis may be there. Okay. And after that, in, in, in front, uh, this is female child, so we need to take uh, some help of some chaperone, maybe. Uh, so that we'll just uh, check the heart, basically in Down syndrome, and then if if there is time, then we we'll also check the abdomen, 
for any hepatomegaly if there or not, then if you check the legs where the there's I mean the sandal gap will be there. Huh? And some other other finding may or may not be in this child there was finding of Sufi because the child is limping during that uh walk basically. Okay. Again, this is obesity, sometimes this is also common. Na? So that's why obesity related to all competition okay. we need to keep in mind. In that way, we'll proceed. Okay. And the question is in Down syndrome, several questions can be asked. Several okay. wide variety of questions. Okay. So in this way, let's move. So my doubt was uh, yesterday in Dr. Rashi was meeting. They were tell, he was telling me right, that when you when you suspect hypermobility at any point of time, then you should uh, like stop your examination and continue with hypermobility testing. So when, when Down syndrome is given, we are all used to seeing, so maybe we will do a total examination. But if any other case is given and in general examination, we find that the cardiac finding is there. Should we just stop there and continue with cardiac examination or like, do a whole okay. set examination? No, 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 no. That was... Different station last time in the I was in that meeting also. Okay. So the hypermid that is a MSK mm. station. Okay, MSK station. Whenever any yeah. finding is there, you need to go with it. Just like if there is swelling, we need to examine the swelling in detail. But this is just the general examination task. Don't confuse with the MSK. Okay, okay, okay. okay. so MSK, even if you have finding, we have to see all yeah. systems. Yes, so okay, uh, yeah, if if the MSK is the task, especially in hypermobility or some cases with uh, GIA, there may or may not be any kind of swelling. So at that time, that's why that's why this is a difficult situation. So that's why we need to do the whole PGAS to find out where exactly the problem. Okay, that's why these are okay. important. Do you remember what feedback the Dr. Raju got for this maybe? Like, was he right with this approach? Yeah, general examination approach is very easy. You start with the hand only and the yeah. general observation, pick up the clinical finding. And present your case, related system, even if you miss some related system examination in the viva, they will ask, okay, so in this child, what is a relevant system examination you want to do in this way? Okay. So in this child, obesity, 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 there will definitely, you must uh, go for cardiac as well as abdominal. You can, you can uh, get some hepatomegaly. And if this is uh, yeah, Down syndrome, definitely eye, ear, and uh, like thyroid, all this examination is important. Okay. okay. So Cushing syndrome is one of the clinical uh, station uh, is very important. Cushing syndrome we are not doing today basically. Okay. So we need to do Cushing syndrome as well. Because Cushing syndrome, there is stria and some other finding will be there. That may be some uh, central cause or peripheral cause in this. Uh, so if we think uh, the causes of Cushing syndrome, that can we discuss during uh, the presentation with the examiner? So we need to go through the theoretical part as well. So we have not discussed this one. Harry, who is 10 years of age, kindly examine him. These are the cases sometimes they are. Can I do it? Uh, Okay, yeah. Doctor, but actually we've already discussed this. It's okay. Uh -huh. uh, I have not done, but uh, if somebody is doing it, it's okay. I'll take the next one. That's okay. Okay, okay. Hi, hi, Doctor Pranab, Doctor Preeti. Hi, hi, hi. Please be kind. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, no problem. Give me a good one, which not good. Uh... Something on short stretcher. I am okay with trying short stretcher. Short stretcher, you want to do it? Been a very long time. I've not tried. So, posture two most common exam cases is one is okay. I'm not sure. Is a, a control place here. No, you may get two of them. What else can you get on a short stretcher? 
Echolupplesia, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, even your MPS. MPS. That's what we had discussed for the last exam going back. Right. Be short stature because of CDGP also they might keep a simple short stature yes, and of course syndromic stature. cases. Which one? Uh, no, uh, constitutional delay. Constitutional very unlikely, stage. very unlikely, very okay. unlikely. But approach uh, and manuals is what is important. Yeah, and osteogenesis imperfect also little possibilities. Possibility, but very uh, unfound and worse is the procedure. Okay, you can uh, do this one, I think. Okay. Okay, it's a disproportionate situation. Take it. Which? which, uh, which there are several, uh, I mean, five children here. Which one you want to <laughs> accept? <laughs> Give me any one. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Give me the less. I wish the examiner one. also asked yeah. like this, Dr. Pranav. <laughs> This is a less scary, scary looking one. The other, those three are very okay. Scary. So, this, this one is for you. This, this child, okay. This okay. one, okay. <laughs> He's also scary looking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I'll start. Wait, take your time. Okay, I'll take some time. Okay. Uh, we can start whenever you are ready, Dr. Okay, so your time starts now. Okay. General examination only. Okay, not for not a full exam for short stage, no. No, no, general. Most likely, general examination will be there and the open section. Okay, uh, I'll start. Yeah. Uh, hello, this is Dr. Preeti here. I'm one of the child doctor of this hospital. Uh, I've come here to examine your child. Yes, please. Uh, so I am in the room. I sanitize myself, I sanitize my hands. And, uh, I, I, I speak to, I'm not given a name, so I just call him Harry. I speak to Harry. Hi, Harry. Hello. Uh, I'm asking to the mom, how old is Harry? Harry is 14 years of age. 14 years of age. Okay. So I'm here to uh, examine Harry today. Uh, Harry, are you okay with me examining you? Yes, sure. So I go ahead with my uh, inspection. I'm going to uh, take a general look around Harry. Is there any uh, aids or any devices around? Any hearing aids, glasses? Okay. Uh, the hearing aid is there. Yes. Okay. Any glasses or any walking aids, any wheelchairs? No. Any oxygen tubing or IV tubing? No, no, no. So Harry looks to be awake and alert, uh, and he's generally uh, he's, he's well and interested in the surrounding. Uh, on the features, facial features, I can see some syndromic features. Uh, and uh, he looks to be short for his age. Uh, can I get in the uh, the measurements, height, weight, and everything? 
not specifically but uh, the child is short as you can see and uh, definitely uh, which, which one you want to know uh, height weight and uh, this thing i'll, I'll plot him at the end weight is not appropriate with the go uh, go uh, age actually and height is short as you can see and uh, okay. yes these are the okay. He has some syndromic features. The, 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 even the size of the head looks to be a little smaller than usual. And uh, there is some flattening of the forehead and nasal bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a, he has a uh, fish mouth kind of an appearance. And uh, with a broad, yeah, fish mouth and with a long philtrum, I would say. I go ahead with my further examination of the neck and the, uh, this thing. Any scars, any webbing? Okay, and there is no scar. Okay, in, in the neck, is there any, web, any webbing of the neck? Not webbing, short neck. Okay, okay. short neck. Okay, uh, in the hands, are there any uh, clubbing or any this thing seen? Any kinosis? Anything? No, nothing. Just short fingers. Yeah, I can see some widening of the wrist though in the photo. Widening of the wrist, okay, fine. I go ahead with my measurements, uh, the upper segment and lower segment ratios. How is it? So, upper segment is short than the middle segment. I mean, uh, which upper segment and lower segment ratio is it? Yeah, yeah, basically I measure my lower segment and, and I find out the upper segment. Is okay, it proportionate or it, it, it is it is this I forgot that basically the option to this option to do that. Okay, continue. I will discuss that later. Okay, okay. Uh yeah. And I would like to do some manuals for so you just told me to general examination, right? What else to mm -hmm, general examination? And related okay, systemic yes. examination. Okay, I would uh, like to see the pulse and the uh, this thing, okay. the, uh, the vitals. Okay, the pulse is normal. In systemic relevant systemic exam, I would like to examine the cardiac system. Okay, and. Any other system? Uh, I would also like to do a tanner staging at the end. Tanner staging, okay, fine. Anything more? Any other system? Muscular absence is dis disproportionate. I would also like to look for the muscular skeletal system. Um, this thing, up now, uh, for the short stage, disproportionate short stage. I would like to do the manuals for short stage. Sorry? Then the manuals for short stature. The, okay, the manuals for short stature. Okay. No need okay. right now, but in clinical examination, you can do. You just mention the general features. Okay. Uh, I would like to look at the palms of the hand. What are the things you want to look? Uh, whether there is any, uh, this thing, uh, single palmar crease or any uh, splayed, the, the, the wrist, any polydactyly? No. Only the skin thickening is there. Skin thickening. Skin thickening is good, yes. So, Dr. Preeti, your uh, six minutes is just uh, up, okay? Now, uh, <laughs> basically, 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 what I want to say here, if the task is general examination, you need to adopt the approach of general inspection okay general inspection which will be just like head to toe screening so okay. as you can see there is gross dysmorphic feature along with short stature okay and after that we will start with the hand so you complete the hand in went into the mouth i mean uh, the face but it's, it's, there is lots of feature lots of features yes. so start start with the tip leaf lips Large tongue. They, 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 this is uh, called mid facial. Uh, that is hypoplasia. Okay. And after that, okay. you need to check the eyes for corneal clouding is there or not. 
any vis uh, visual problem, the frontal bosing is there, okay, short neck is there, and uh, kyphoscoliosis sometimes may be there in the back. Yeah, the back. Okay. Yeah, so the back. These are the findings in the uh, face, okay, and after that, when you started, you finding, as you can see, there is some fracture like deformity, as you can see, then look at this hand. Okay, so this is because of what? Fibrotic bone disease thing. Right? It sounded like empty. No. Osteoid, osteoid formation. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Secondary ligate can occur. That is different. But here, uh, that is carpal tunnel syndrome is very common. Contracture, joint stiffness and contracture. As you can see, that this child is standing, but the uh, flexion deformity. Yeah, yeah, there is some degree of flexion deformity. Why? This is because if we joint, there will be some degree of contracture. That's that's the only reason. So contraction okay. will be there. Okay. And when you do start from the hand, that's what you're telling me. Uh, yes, that is. Uh, you can go through the uh, RCPCH uh, yes, book yeah. booklet. They are they, they are stating that. Uh, every clinical station is better to start with the hand directly, mm -hmm. except if the opening statement says the exam in the legs only, but lower leg. That is different. But in every station, we should also, uh, every time we, we adopt the same same approach, start with the hand, including the nails. So, nail binding will be there, some uh, single formality, as, as you mentioned, that when the joint deformity. Okay. And after that, if there is any shortening, so this, this part, I think I forward that this is uh, proportionate or disproportionate shortening. Can anybody suggest me I forward that? Because in achondroplasia, there is lysomeric shortening. But what in, in, in case of MPS? In, uh, in MPS, spine shortening is there, so upper limb will be short. Okay. Yeah, it is disproportionate. So disproportionate short stitches. So disproportionate short stitches, so spine shortening uh, is expected. Okay. So, uh, in this way, we'll just move from hand to upward, including the uh, deformity, we'll just uh, facial, facial amount, we'll say, after that, check the back, then come to the and relevant systemic examination, you can uh, examine yeah, the heart, and abdomen for hepatosplenomegaly, as well as some renomegaly may be there. Okay. So, if there is time, then you can also check the gait as well because the child is having some contracture and flexion deformity here. Because okay. contracture so is very common. This is the three relevant systems no? abdomen, cardio, and then the musculoskeletal of the lower limb. Including eye, because cornea cladding is there or not, vision is affected or not, some uh, like uh, cherry uh, spot may be there. No? So, eye examination is also important. So in this way, we'll proceed. Okay, now the case, uh, the most common exam case, Hunter and Harler in the exam. Okay, we need to know. So corneal clouding is present in which variety? Corneal clouding is present in Hurlers. Hunter doesn't have corneal clouding. Okay. And CVIT is which is more severely affected, Hunter or Hurler? MPS 1, 2, both are severely affected. No, Hunter yeah, is, Hunter is more, more severe. Hunter is more severe than Hunter. Harlan is more severe. Okay. 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 And uh, if if uh, you've seen that it's as well, no? Marky. Marky as well, definitely, but Marky not will be in the exam. It will be very severe affection. That's why. Hmm. Generally, in the exam, you have San Filippos because they are the one who are milder and have generally that's how they sorry come sorry sorry normal in the marky will be severe on a physical features with laxative joint and uh, marky o which is uh, intelligence will be little normal okay but yeah. uh, very unlikely they'll be in the exam uh, san filippo again severe san mental intimidation and yeah. less physical there is, there is more developmental concern than for out of course species there yes so what are the common in San Filippo profound mental retardation? Yeah, so the severe form, severe. Right. Yeah. severe mental retardation. So we so the, 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 the lower you go in the MTS, now the more the developmental concerns. Like the first two have less developmental and more core species, such as hunter and hurlers. Whereas the last San Filippo and those have more uh, this thing, developmental concerns, learning oh. disabilities, intelligence, etc. Okay, so according to and the next question, okay, so you have diagnosed this case that you have included the DD. Now, uh, what will what may be the you know, the complications in this child MPS? Okay, complications. 
I don't really remember MPA so much. Complications though? Yes. And that is very important. That will be asked. Because this child is short neck, as you can see, short neck, uh, uh, that, that, is, that is also uh, just like in Down syndrome and atleto axial, when a sudden death for the dislocation may cause sudden death on these children. That is one of the most deadly com complications of this child. And as you can see, there is calpatronus or severe contraction, calpatronus syndrome, that is one of the complications. And there will be sometimes hydrocephalus. Some of the children will be present with VP shed as well. Dr. Manisha is there with us right now. Dr. Manisha? Asaha, she had sent it, shown that video of that child. She is she sleeping, I think. That, Hello. that child has a video. I remember now. No, Dr. Manisha is not there. I mean, she, is, uh, she have uh, a patient. Yeah. Yeah, she, she has shown a patient to us. Ah, yeah. that, that with VP shunt, right? I think you were there. So VP shunt sometimes may be there, okay? So VP shunt may be there in uh, yeah also, uh, in case also. So hydrocephalus is one of the complications. And intracranial tumor, they say, but I don't know how much common. But it's most common. common things you have to mention, nasal discharge, upper right obstructions, these are very common. Definitely. Body and and uh, cardiac. Yes. And yeah. cardiac and heart nears. Arneas and hearing impairments. Hearing is important. Hearing as well as. And as you mentioned, atlantoaxial instability, spinal cord compression uh, as well. Spinal cord compression. All these are complications. Okay? We need to mention. So we have cardiomyopathy. Yes. The heart complication. Mm, and restrictive lung disease because of course, kyphosis scoliosis. That is another complication that is restrictive lung disease because of kyphoscoliosis. Yeah. So these are the complications of this syndrome. Okay. And if there is corneal, corneal clouding, definitely uh, the vision will be affected. So that is also yeah. another complication. So how, how will you investigate this child? Uh, investigation. Uh... First, get an ophthalmal ophthal evaluation to look at the corneal and the corneal clouding and the vision. And uh, go, uh, get an X-ray of the of the extremities to because of to rule out the deformities. So you are going for complications, uh, not like that. You will divide the initiation to part, just like to diagnose the case and related to the complications. Okay. So for the diagnosis, diagnosis. Uh, yeah, for the diagnosis, what are the tests yeah. you do? You will do a urinary GA, uh, this thing, gag, glycosma, minoglycans. Yes, gag level. So diagnostic investigations and complication kind of investigations. Yeah. And, and yeah, that, is that, is oh, that is screening test, okay. And screening test, it is possible genetic testing. Yes, in so no, no. with fibroblast. Lysosomal engine. Yes, lysosomal Yeah. So the definite diagnosis will be there. Okay. Okay. Now, now uh, sometimes you need to mention hmm? the other investigation related to the complications. Okay, just like chest X, the echocardiogram, then uh, X of the hand and uh, you know cervical X ray for atlant and atlant axial joint evaluation and if there is contraction of lower limb and then a spinal problem okay so all these different if there is uh, if there is like uh, hydrocephalus okay so according to the complication we will just invent you as according okay now how will you manage this child are you sure it's hydrocephalus? Hydrocephalus is in usually in achondroplasia, no? No, both the both the cases are the They also have. They can also. They have the large looking head, no? If you remember. Actually, hydrocephalus is not mentioned. Mentioned there's disostrotis multiplex. That was mentioned in the patient info, but I recall. I never read uh, Yes, disostrotis multiplex. Like enlarged skull, enlarged but short in bones. Uh, this for all the skeletal defects. Okay. 
uh, but the, uh, i saw the video of uh, the manisha kid but uh, what is written in the patient info that is dissociative multiplex okay okay but madu gavras me 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 present this yeah anyway the pathologist also mentioned somewhere i have also read that they have more of atlanto actual uh, yeah so we are searching you go where where you, you are sleeping no no i am i am 100% sure you left i, I am just asking dr manisha dr manisha she is not i'm sorry there. sorry there was just somebody at okay. the door okay. okay fine so you, you, you have a patient with a mps right with hydrocephalus bp so chan i can, i will try and post uh, the picture of her back of her neck so she has got a scar at the back which is like you can see even through the hairline so uh, that scar is uh, atlanto actual dislocation Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she has anyway. in fact all the features of MPS six. Okay. Okay. So how will you manage, Doctor Pithi? Uh, I like to have this thing. Uh, multidisciplinary involvement. I would get an uh, psychological evaluation to know the scholastic and IQ level of the child, and uh, supports there as needed. what is i don't know i not i am completely out of touch now so <laughs> at least you can mention the multidisciplinary team so wow. already 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 there are several complication we discussed so according to the complication you will manage simple so enzyme okay. the, 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 there is deficiency so you can uh, you can start some enzyme replacement therapy okay. and cure the bone marrow transplant is very easy right So after that, you can you can enter the physiotherapy, dietitian, surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, ENT surgeon, and uh, neurosurgeon. If there are so all these ophthalmology services, corneal corneal clouding, the corneal transplant sometimes possible, na. So according if you remember the complication, definitely you can mention the treatment. I mean the management. That's very easy. Okay. Okay, guys. So any other feedback? bone marrow transplant can be done sometimes this is that for the can be for heart lord and the body stem cell transplantation that is the gold standard yes so and for the heart attack there also some eye problems like retinal pigmentation and papillary so both heart lord heart attack there is some eye problems yes yes शॉर्ट <laughs> the uh, short stature this one and if if this is achondroplasia we we need to find out rhizomelic shortening and as you can see in this picture both are this side is achondroplasia ha huh? ah left side is achondroplasia right did you say the cardiologist at least is also important na yeah? mm -hmm. I, i maybe i forgot or mention i, I can't remember but yeah your cardiologist This is definitely important because it's short neck and so you know obstructive sleep apnea will be there na again heart problem will be there so some cardiomyopathy may be there na so yeah. so that's why radiology is definitely important and achondroplasia sometimes they can give in our exam this similar kind of finding but trident hand deformity with shortening radiomyopathy shortening and lumbar lordosis will be there frontal bulging will be there and some abnormal dentation sometimes possible and this mandible will be small on a prominent mandible sorry macromal prominent mandible will be there so these are the our clinical find either they will give in the just general examination otherwise in short stitch we will just prepare like that okay you yeah, also in mucopore dissect process uh, seems like there is developmental delay and retardation mm. so maybe you know one group development team has to be on definitely mm. if, if there is developmental delay development don't have to be there the general examination we don't do the 
short teacher or the MSK or this thing. Just, just the general inspection. That's all. From yeah, hand on inspection, and they will just for opening statement will be just uh, in the, um, directing us to what to do. Basically, if if the opening statement due to general examination, then general examination, general service very easy now. So after looking everything. You need to go for the system related systemic examination. Sometimes some uh, major feature will be there. If we are missing, then examiner will ask, okay, what uh, other related systemic examination you want to do in this child? Because if this is Down syndrome, definitely we, we need to start at the heart. Okay, mm -hmm. so that is that is the clue. Uh, the examiner will give just like that. Yeah. Dr. Pranav, whatever you said, you said the findings, you know, it's typical of the picture that Dr. Manisha has sent. Beautiful picture. The child already is standing in contract chest only. All, all joints show fixed structure report. Very nice, actually. Also, I, I would like to mention, we can see there's excessive hair on the body. So that is also a feature in MPS scholars. So yes, sometimes hypertrophism is also there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is some specific variety. Very nice, where very nice Dr. Manisha. Very nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay, so she, guys. she required a non-invasive ventilation. These kids required non-invasive ventilation. The reason of their sudden uh, death is uh, this uh, sleep uh, hypercapnia and cardiac problem. Yes. Right, right. She was wearing specs also. So I think whenever, uh, if you have a child, this is just my observation, that if, if you have a child now in this case, uh, this girl, when I was examining her, she didn't have spectacles. But when I asked her, she said she has been using spectacles. So even if in the exam, you see, even if the child is not wearing specs, but you need to ask. Right. Mm, okay, okay. So the specs were not because of because she has corneal clouding, but it's because of the they can have refractive errors. Yes, possible, possible, definitely. Mm. Okay, guys. So what we'll do, uh, we'll just practice in different way. Like uh, we'll move into the history. Okay, for uh, from. Uh, from just like, so, okay.